As we go faster and faster in windsurfing, as we're more and more on the plane, we need to move our feet out and back to keep the board under control and make sure we're comfortable while we're blasting. Now that journey eventually ends in the foot straps. With our feet in the foot straps, we have maximum control over the board in flat water or choppy conditions and wavy stuff. And it means we go out in a range of conditions, a lot stronger winds, and also start to get ourselves on the smaller boards. With all this equipment in windsurfing, the key to success isn't just technique. You need to make sure that equipment's set up right and set up right for you before you hit the water. So we're going to have a quick look at getting those foot straps set up before we look at how to get in them. So with the front foot strap, or with both, we're looking for the foot strap to sit over the widest part of our foot. So if I look at my foot now, I can see my little toe just poking through and that's sat comfortably over the widest part. If it's that size, it means my heel won't be dragging in the water when I'm in the foot strap, but also it means it's easy to get the foot in. If I do fall off, it means my foot's going to easily come out of the strap as well. And that's going to be exactly the same for the back strap as well. If the foot straps aren't quite set right straight away, we can adjust them just for a set of Velcro. So all we need to do is undo the Velcro and get it set right to fit. So it fits snugly around our foot. Again, sitting over that widest point. Now, in different disciplines in windsurfing, people do set their straps slightly differently. Wave sailors and freestylers tend to set them a lot bigger, but they don't have such a big fin on the board and they're much more able to centre line. A lot of slalom sailors and speed sailors set them a lot smaller, so they're constantly driving the board while they're blasting along. But that over the widest part of the foot is going to be the best all round use for ease of getting in and ease of getting out. So once we're blasting comfortably in the harness, we can look at getting towards our foot straps. Now one thing we need for the foot straps is a little bit of speed and we'll know when it's time to put our feet in because our front foot's going to be right next to that front foot strap. So while we're blasting along and increasing our speed, to trim the board flat we need to work our feet out then back down the board. Keep looking forward or slightly downwind. We should know when it's time to get in the front strap because our front foot will be right next to the front foot strap. In lighter winds, our back foot might not be that far back, but in strong winds, it might be right next to the back foot strap. To get in that foot strap now, we're going to extend the front arm and push the rig forwards as we drop our body weight back onto the back foot. All the time, sinking our weight down through our hips in the harness and squeezing in and down with the back hand to keep the power on. So the rig goes forward and our body goes back as we slip the front foot into the foot strap. To get our back foot in the foot strap, we need to be able to take our weight off the back foot. Now the only point of sail we can do this on is heading upwind or slightly upwind. So first of all, you need to look upwind over that front shoulder. The back foot needs to be right next to that back foot strap. And now we're gonna use that counterbalance again by letting the rig go back and our body weight going forward. So we should feel our weight pushing against the front of the harness and on the outside of the front foot. With the rig back and the body forward, we can now slip our back foot into the foot strap. Once we've got both feet in the foot straps, you need to look across the wind again. Bring the weight even on both feet and make sure we're maintaining that power extended front arm and using our hips in the harness as much as possible. To control the trim of the board now, we can flex our back leg as we're blasting over the chop and use our heels in the stronger wind to dig the board in and in the lighter winds, rock up onto our toes. 